You're right babes, it's Jolene again and I'm back with another video, right? So another story time and I'm gonna be telling you about how I accidentally got fisted and I know you're probably thinking like, well how do you accidentally get a whole hand up your ass to the forearm? But like, I'm about to tell you aren't I? So if you just hold your horses and let me finish, you'll be in the know. You'll know what's going on, you'll know how it happened, right? So like, you gotta think like, this was around the time I was doing like a lot of painkillers, taking a lot of opioids, a lot of prescription drugs. And if there's something about opioids or like painkillers, codeine specifically is like, I kind of lose my inhibitions, right? I kind of am pretty loosey goosey when it comes to that. So, and on top of that, it kind of like relaxes the muscles. If, if you get what I mean, I mean all of the muscles. I mean, there were some nights I couldn't even walk, you know, much less like keep my asshole closed, if I'm being honest. But anyway, that's kind of, that kind of paints a picture about how it was even physically possible, but I'll get into how like it came to be, right? So I have been hooking up with this guy. Uh, let's call him, let's call him Matt. Um, we'll call him Matt because I thought his name was Matt. Turns out it's not but that's neither here nor there. So like, we have been hooking up. It was like really good. And you know, after you hook up with someone like a few times, you start to like want to do other things, right? Well, anyway, this one night he like, he had been messaging me. He was like, I want to come over. I really wasn't like feeling it, to be honest. I just was like, I don't want to have to shave. That was my main concern. And I said to him like, I I've not shaved. So like, my whole body's got like five o'clock shadow on it. Like, as long as you can put up with that, then like, sure, come over. He was like, yeah, that's like totally fine. And so he comes over and I'm like a zombie, right? I'm like a pilled out whore, which I mean, you've probably heard from other people anyway. You might as well get it straight from the horse's ass that at that particular time, like I was a bit of like a pill popping whore not that much has changed really. If, if you follow me on Facebook, you probably kind of gathered that. But anyway, he comes over, we're like doing our thing, you know, having fun. I'm pretty like spun out on like codeine. So that's like pretty good. You know, everything like feels great, but <laughs> I'm not really like engaged. I'm just kind of like laying there. And I'm also like, kind of wanting things to get a bit like spicier and I'm he was kind of on the same page as well so I'm just like kind of laying there right like this is good this is great like I'm enjoying it but how can we like take it to the next level well anyway he starts like fingering me and that's all well and good I'm not really like a fan of being fingered if I'm perfectly honest like it doesn't really make much sense to me like and a lot of the time especially with guys they have like quite coarse hands quite rough hands I mean he didn't at the time he might now um but so it was fine right and I guess from all the painkillers I was like like it was like a pretty easy gig you know like it, it wasn't like also are you guys loving the big hair my publicist said that the gays love big hair so I've started doing big hair again so like, let me know. Maybe that's why I'm getting more views. Maybe it's not the sex talk. Maybe the, maybe all the gays are just clicking on for like the big hair. It's giving me very, this whole outfit's giving me Mr. Burns as Dracula. You know the one, if you've got, if, if you've got that, that photo, can you like send it to me so I can do a side by side? Cause this is very much Mr. Burns as Dracula with like the red, the deep V, the big hair. He's the thin, the whole bit, right? Like I'm a bit of like a Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns in like a shake and go, like nearly O'Hara wig, maybe like a Sharon Tate wig. Um, anyway, where were we? Oh, I was talking about getting fingered in the asshole. That's right. So I was like getting fingered in the asshole. It was like feeling pretty good. Again, that could have been all the painkillers. And now I'm not trying to condone like doing drugs, but this is just the reality, right? And I'm kind of like the reality queen, at least here on the Gold Coast. I mean, find me someone else that's done as many reality shows as I have, probably none. I'm gonna be honest. 
the proof is in the pudding, what can I say? So anyway, I keep, I keep going off track. So he's like fingering me, I'm like living life, you know. And I'll tell you something about him. He's got like a huge cock. And you're probably like looking at my hands and thinking like, how would that fit in an asshole? I'm gonna be honest, his hands are smaller than mine. Um, but a huge cock. So like the difference between like his huge cock and then like his hands isn't really that much, I think. I mean, I might have to double check with him, to be honest. That could just be what I'm telling myself so I don't feel like I'm just a loose gaping hole. You know what I mean? But I definitely was that night. So he's like fingering me and he's like loving it. And I'm like, why is he loving this so much? And then he's like, I, I can feel what's going on. And he's like twisting his hand around, right? And I can feel that it's like, just his thumb on the outside. And I'm like, oh, okay, like I get, I get where we're at. So we must be like down to here. That's pretty like, I didn't know that was possible for me. Again, I'm telling you, it, I'm gonna blame it on the pills, but it probably wasn't the pills. Probably just me being a hoe. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. And then, you know, I'm kind of like laying there and he's like saying all these things like, yeah, this is so hot. Like, I love it, babe. Like, all of that stuff. Like, this is so hot. And then he, um, he goes, do you reckon I can like put the whole thing in? And I'm like, I mean, you can try. But I said that thinking like, it's not possible. I'm kind of like, he can try all he wants, like it's not gonna happen. And so anyway, he's like trying to do it and he's like, you know, now it's starting to feel a bit tight. I'm like, okay, this is kind of maybe like pushing the limits, right? And he's like, are you ready, babe? Like, I'm, I'm going in, like I'm going in. And I'm like, yeah, all right, babe, like you can try. And then like, I feel it like push in, like past the thumb knuckle. Like if you've ever had this experience, you'll know exactly what I mean. And then all of a sudden I feel like, I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest, but like I can feel that it's in. And then he's like, oh yeah, babe, like that's so hot. And he like pulls it out. He like puts it back in, he like pulls it out again. He like puts it back in and I'm like, okay, like this is a bit more than I thought was like quite possible for me, but I guess it is. And so anyway, he's like doing his thing. He's doing whatever. And then I like, I, I like reach around and like grab onto his arm, right? To like, just see what's going on. Feel like I have some control over the situation. And I want to make it very clear that like, all of this was totally consensual. This wasn't like anything weird. Like I pr honestly, I probably would have done it regardless like at some point. So like, you know, don't even worry about that. But so anyway, we're doing our thing. I reach around and I, I kid you not, I grab onto his arm and I can feel that it's this bit, right? And I'm like, okay, like I've only got a little bit of room like to the elbow bend and then only like a little bit of room before I'm like at my own ass. So like, this is like a lot deeper than I thought it was, right? And I'm like, um, what's going on? Like what's happening in here? What, what you doing? And then he like said, yeah, like that's like where it is. Like that's, that's where it's going to. And I can tell you now, like these days, like that probably wouldn't happen to be honest. I mean, like I've got a great proctologist. I like spend a lot of money on like keeping my hole nice and tight. So like, I really don't think that would happen. Um, ever again, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, I'm not sure. Maybe I could try again, might give him a call, um, see if he's still interested. He's probably watching this actually. I think he might be, if he's not, I'll send it to him anyway. Um, who knows, but um, yeah, that's the time I like accidentally got fisted all cause I was like, yeah, you can try thinking to myself like it's never gonna work. So like he can try as much as he wants. Right, and I'm just gonna lay here and then he's gonna like give up and we'll like go back to fucking and that's like not what happened. We did go back to fucking, I'm gonna be honest. It was, I'm gonna be honest, it was like a great night and like a great experience. Um, I don't regret it 
I have no regrets about that, not one bit. But it definitely was not what I planned on happening that night. And I don't think it's like what he planned on happening either. So, I mean, maybe I can convince him to like send me a photo of like his hand so I can like post it and be like, this is, this is what I mean. Um, but I find that to be very unlikely that he'd do that. Just so don't get your hopes up. But anyway, that's the time I like accidentally got fisted. Didn't plan on doing it. Had no real like warm up, no real prep for it. But somehow it like managed and I was like, Ty, isn't it, babe? He was like, yeah, not so much now. Um, and to be fact, when, when we like got back to fucking, he was like, you won't be able to feel me now. And he's got like a pretty huge dick. Um, I could kind of feel it, you know what I mean? But so anyway, that's, that's that story time for years. Um, I hope you liked the video. I know you guys liked the last one. Let me know what other kind of things you like want to know. Um, like, subscribe, comment below, all of that stuff. You can find me on Instagram. I'm back to doing like my own, my, um, adults only content, you know, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You know, the website. You know the website so you can uh, go and find that as well um you know maybe maybe i could like go on there and recreate the situation um might even convince the same guy to do it but we'll see we'll see what happens so anyway thanks for watching and you guys will see me in the next video but i won't see you because unfortunately that's not how pre-recorded video works bye